confidence. That is something that a lot of people struggle with as they go on this business acquisition journey. Why? Well, probably because in large part, this is all new. They haven't done this before. They're out of their comfort zone, et cetera, et cetera. But it's super important when you're interacting with board members, financial institutions, professionals, accounting and law firms, and prospects that you come across as confidence. So how do you do that, certainly, is a question. And one of the things you do is first understand that this process has been successful. So you don't have to worry, well, will this work or will this not work? You may ask the question, will it work for you? But there should be no question that it has worked. So you can put that aside. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize is you can't focus on two things at the same time. If you stub your toe and your toe hurts and then you hit your hand with a hammer, guess what? Your hand is the one that you're going to pay attention to and you pretty well forget about the toe. So same thing is true in all aspects of concentration. If you've ever been in a classroom and you're taking notes, you may hear something and you go ahead and write that down. But when you write that down, you're focusing on writing it down. And although you may be cycling back and forth to what the speaker is saying pretty quickly, you really are missing an awful lot of that discussion. So when you are focusing on the upcoming task and you feel that you don't have the confidence, think about, okay, I'm not going to put those thoughts in my head. I'm going to put in the thoughts of my affirmations, accomplishing the goal, what I'm going to do, the steps, et cetera, et cetera. And if you do that, you will be focused on things that add to your confidence, not have doubt come into them. Uh, understand that you will be nervous. Understand that this is new to you. Neither one of those things is a bad thing. So many people are terrified of cold calls or public speaking. And after a while, and I see it over and over and over again, it doesn't bother them anymore. In fact, it's just part of what they do. And what I see is a very, very big change in their confidence level. Self-esteem, self-image, that is the barometer of those that succeed in this process. And confidence is absolutely key to that. I'm going to talk about this and a lot of other things that have changed and need to change in terms of recent events, economic conditions, and maybe the things that you're struggling with in the Q&A that I'm going to do on Facebook this Wednesday as I record this and the following Friday, which is the Q&A I do once a month for the Deep Dive Boot Camp members. So if you're struggling, if you have questions, go ahead and attend those. You'll watch your email for notifications. And then if there's specific areas like mindset, um, go over to brucewhipple.com, take a look at the boot camps and courses, and there are several there I think that would help you if you're struggling. If things are going great, just keep doing more of the same. So look forward to hearing from some of you or as many as uh, listen to this podcast on Wednesday and Friday.